Hi guys and welcome at this video in which we're going to explain our custom implementation of the Bootstrap 4 grid system in Sidecore Experience Accelerator or SXA. So what we have done is created a lean and mean lightweight implementation uh, because we found out that a lot of our customers, especially the um, end users, which are content managers or marketers, don't really understand a responsive grid system and don't really know how to use all the grid settings which are out of the box configured as rendering parameters on each component. So we have created a little feature which implement a lightweight bootstrap for grid definition and two components with out of the box column layouts. So when you're going to create a new site after you have installed uh, the package, um, you will get an option to install the DMP features on your site which contains the two components so in here you will have the DMP content components and you will get a DMP bootstrap for grid system and DMP stands for digital marketing platform to keep it general so after you have created a site with the grid definition and um, the two components you will be able to create uh, very quickly pages so I have prepared a couple of pages already and I have also prepared uh, a an header and uh, stuff like that. So don't worry about that one. Um, but this is uh, an example of an end result. So let me switch to um, another page design for this page to make it uh, empty. And then we will build up uh, the page from scratch so let's say you have a fixed header and footer and you want to start here um, if I'm going to look at this page um, the only thing I get is an empty main tag which comes from the view file for the grid system and nothing in it so from here you will have the DMP page layout components and you can add a section component and this is basically render, rendering a div with a class container, uh, which is a Bootstrap 4 container. But you will have the option to choose between a full page width, which gives it, uh, give it a container fluid class, or switch back to a default, which is the container class, which makes it a fixed width. And in here you can see that you will have a component called DMP section with a container class. And when we're going to switch to the full page, it becomes a container fluid. So from here, uh, let me close this one. Let's keep it fluid. From here, you can use the DMP column layout and you will get an out of the box full width column layout, but we deliver a couple of out of the box um, grid layouts like a three equal column, which renders three nice columns with placeholders. Uh, but there are also a couple of others like a small left one with a larger right one. Um, which can be used for example sub menus and stuff like that and this is also pretty clean because it only renders the needed um, diff with for the component with a component content of course to keep it SXA, SXA compliant but a row with uh, the column definitions now this comes from the rendering frines as you could see so you can easily change it within each site um, based on the breakpoints that you need uh, and add a couple of more predefined grid layouts but we found out that this is very convenient and easy to use for end users because they don't have to think about the responsive behavior uh, based on your design you can pre-configure it and really speeds up their work so from here it's easy to just drag and drop some components on the page nothing special to it um, and you can still use the out of the box SXA components as you used to. Uh, one important thing to notice is that we have with the grid definition we have uh, not removed the rendering parameters for the grid because we otherwise we had to either create custom versions of each out of the box component which we don't want to or we ha had to write our own grid implementation which we also don't want to because I don't want to use custom code so the only thing is that for out of the box SXA components you will have uh, these two tabs but nothing more so it's not really that big of an issue um, and the other thing is 
let me switch back to the home page for a minute um, when you're going to create new components um, you can remove that one of course so for your own components you don't have it so I have created pretty easily um, um, a home page based on all the bootstrap uh, design elements and I have created my own carousel so if I go to uh, here you will see that um, the grid is in here as well but I can remove it pretty easily by going to my rendering parameters of this component which is on the feature uh, my DMP content components rendering parameters and if I remove the grid parameters hit save yeah I'm going to proceed and um, now it should be removed so when I reload the page and I'm going to scroll down to my custom carousel component fully based on the bootstrap out of the box carousel you will see that my grid settings are gone and the component still works um, and um, it behaves based on my custom column components so what I have done, this is an example of um, uh, the, a public version of this page. I have created uh, a header with uh, the out of the box as, uh, as XA navigation, which I tweaked with some Scribble templates and uh, a custom view file. Um, I have created some sub navigation um, and I have used the out of the box bootstrap components to style um, uh, a couple of content components. So this requires a theme, a side theme with only the bootstrap.css. So I didn't add anything else to it uh, and it makes it really pretty easy and clean to create uh, your own implementation of the bootstrap grid. So in here you can see that I only have the main. I have for each component, of course, the two divs, which are mandatory, but for the rest, this is the HTML that it's rendered out. So nothing more. Um, and I don't have to confuse my content editors with the complexity of defining grid behavior for each component.